PLC Suggestions channel, here we are yet again. Um, hopefully looking for some Summer Update Part 2 suggestions in particular, and some yeah, really good ERC suggestions. Both of those I will happily take. So, make an intersection so people don't have to go over it. Um, I mean, you're not really supposed to go over it, you kind of turn. But yes, it is very annoying and this road makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Um, so that got posted not even a minute ago and it's already got seven stars. Uh, this one, I had semi trucks. I think everybody is wanting those. So, yeah, not surprised we've seen that already. Uh, let's see what else we've got. I had minivans such as this, such as this, sorry, Dodge Caravan here. That's a pretty good idea. Um, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. And more robberies and activities in Springfield. Everyone is in the city and it's starting to get a bit overcrowded, especially with the 40 player servers. I mean, yes, true. There's a lot in Springfield, though, and it's basically just up to people to use it. Like, in roleplay servers, people generally spread out a bit more. Uh, certain ones, there will be more base in different areas, including Springfield. Uh, but public servers, you know, it's all to what people want. Although, it's to you, if they're clever, um, then they would go to Springfield more. Um, because there's more robbery. Well, there's not more robberies there, but there's a couple of robberies there. And no police. So, you know, or sheriffs. So, pretty good if you did that. Uh, fix this, it goes into the wall. I mean, true, they do need to fix that if it goes into the wall. So, yeah. Um, new sheriff and RC police deliveries. Old ones are optional on delivery selection. I would like some new police deliveries, definitely. I quite like the sheriff ones we have, but I always suppose they probably update both if they, do, if they did update them. Uh, yeah, that's just my opinion on it, though. Uh, new AI calls, power line outage, power lines fall down, add a DOT bucket truck for suggestion one, add a new uniforms for each rank, um, that would probably be a bit too many uniforms, but a couple of ranked uniforms would be cool, add the tiller truck to FD, quite a few of these I have seen in previous videos, um, but yeah overall they're pretty good suggestions. Make Santina and Western Rambos with their, with their respected wraparounds. Also, uh, also add options if you want a zero, two, or four lights on the Rambo. Um, yeah, I suppose so. They, they, I'm not really a massive pro on Rambo, and I feel like they're, they're basically the same. So, not one that I can fully uh, relate to uh, wanting, but yeah. Give the S FD special operations truck a boat and make it say water rescue and add a hazmat truck that you need the game pass and a rank for, like the SWAT truck. So let me just check. Yeah, this just fell on the screen. Okay. Um, we've got oops, this one here: hazardous materials response team. That's pretty nice. And then we also have like a oh, okay, yeah, we definitely need this one at some point. Although they probably have to add civilian boats, possibly police boats, for this to come. But I think it is quite. Yeah, it is possible. It is possible. Then we have got um, old police cars. It'd be a cool addition to the police and sheriff, along with um, the classic cars game pass, making the classic cars game pass a lot more worth it. Plus, think of all the 1990s, 80s, 70s, or role play servers that could benefit from this. Here are some of my ideas 1991 Crown Ford Crown Victoria, 1991 Falcon Prime Equest, uh, 1958 Ford Custom 300. 1980 Dodge Diplomat, 1977 Pontiac Trans Am, uh, AM, 1977 Pontiac Lemons, yeah, um, yeah, and then there are actually the uh, what they'd be called if they were in game. Here's some pictures of these. Uh, yes, I've seen these quite a lot. The suggestion that we have some classic police cars and surf cars. Uh, so a couple would really make the yeah, game pass and yeah, the teams a little bit more worth it. Law enforcement update. Make the taser and handcuffs look better and animation when cuffing someone. Yes. Uh, I'd like to see the uh, actual thing read. Oh, what's it called? Oh, yeah, like the taser. When you have to taser someone, that blue line. I'd like to see that design to be a little bit more detailed, maybe, and look a little bit more like a taser if possible. It would be nice. And then uh, sorry, some animations. Quite a lot of the tools and more realism on the tools would be nice anyway. Add police motorbikes. It's a very nice add-on on enhanced role plays. Oops. Um, that'd be great. I do not know where that's just gone. So um, yeah, you. Oh, there it is. Um, so yeah, that would be pretty cool. 
Um, but they would have to add civilian ones first or at the same update, I believe. Criminal update. So it seems a bit boring just to kill people and steal their money or take someone hostage in a private server. What we need is the ability to make a fake mark. Like when you're wanted, you can use it and there's no way cops will get you. It will cost 6.5k Robux, uh, no sorry, in-game cash, and it has to be used if you're unwanted. It's just, it's just work like the normal, but it's not registered. The ability to resell weapons to the gun shop or other players. Ah, that's a good idea. The gun shop will only give you 75%. The ability to buy a safe in the gun shop and it will be placed somewhere in the house you own. It's like the trunk, trunk just as a safe. That'd also be a good idea. Drugs can be planted anywhere, although I suppose that would probably be sold in the tool, tool store unless it's specifically for guns. Not going to read that next one because they are not going to be adding that due to Rubik's TOS. Um, the ability to steal cars. I've seen that a lot of times uh, and I do believe that we could be getting something like that in the near future. Possibly even some of the part 2. Has been being suggested for a long time. Cruise control for cars bro. It would be cool. Um, definitely. But I don't know if we have enough vehicles in game that would have that if it was based off the real life model. Please add Lamborghini back. Um, I don't know what's happening with Lamborghini and Roblox at the moment. So if they can, I think they would have done. Um, so we just have to wait and maybe PLC can look into that. But if they can't, you know, there's nothing we can do about that. Um, let's see. Ooh, um. Add this to the police team as a part of the SWAT game pass and make it so the FD team can have blue lights. That's a good idea. Adding on to this, I also think they should add the uh, medical bus on the police team with a little bit of a reworked interior, so it can be like a prisoner transport bus, because along with a van, that is a real thing. Uh, what else we got? A secondary livery for both the ambulance and medical SUVs looks something along the lines of. I mean, one, yes, it'd be cool, but then again, you can just design your own liveries and buy them for that team now anyway, so they probably will not be adding second liveries, but possibly, possibly. Um... Uh. 60 player in game and bigger map and that's kind of a vague suggestion to add realism in high rock park add defibs or in public areas um i know that's definitely realistic to the uk i do not know about the us i'm assuming it probably is quite realistic so yeah that's a good idea better loading screens the current loading screens are very boring and said you should add some art to make it more interesting yeah i suppose they could but um is there really much point you know, it loads for, um, on a good PC, and even on some bad devices, to be perfectly honest with you, you can load to up to 30 seconds, it's really, um, uh, you know, and it could look messy, it might just stop you from being able to read the text. I think the one we've got now is alright, um, yeah. Make the dollar store as an actual store. Why, uh, Discord, what is it doing? And anyway, that's a make the dollar store an actual store. Add this, please, public parking underground. Yes. Sorry about that, just had a yawn there. And definitely do that. Now, this is quite interesting because today, as a recording, is July 4th. So that'll be July 4th, Americans, uh, Independence Day. And we've actually not had an ERC update this year. Now, hopefully, this is because ERC will be posting a teaser later today, meaning that tomorrow we'll get some update part two. I really hope that. I'm praying that it is, and I'm praying it comes out hours before it did last time because that was very late for me and I was never going to be able to make a video on it. So yeah, just a little thing to bring up there. That reminded me. Um, these are the things that are either a tool or an actual thing you can move around for DOT. I've seen that in quite a few suggestion videos having these like little mo movable signs. So I don't think it'd be that hard for PLC to do either. So that's probably quite possible. A new trucker job. Obviously we've seen that one. Like, there was no doubt about it. Heavy rescue truck must get the water input and output section at the back. Um, true. Improved ELS light bar customization. As of now, the customization menu only allows for six modules to be edited. It'd be nice if the menu would update depending on how many modules the light bar has. For example, some eight, some have eight modules, while others have ten. If a light bar has ten modules, the customization menu will would add ten individually customizable segments on the, to the menu. Um, might be a controversial as a it's a okay I just fit a shot I was just check it you can see that as a um as it's a um ERC and game but it may be worth looking into or making more European style cars uh, since we already have the Audi Q8 
This will most likely be a massive hit for the European style private servers like many UK ones and roleplay wise. Some pretty good unmarked cars. The one given here is a Volvo. That would be amazing if we have that in game. I would absolutely love that. Um, but obviously overall you will see is an American game. So I think that would be quite 50-50 with the developers because you know they don't want to get uh, too many European vehicles I suppose. Maybe a new rescue truck that's going to... What is going on with my Discord? Never mind, we'll just keep that on, I suppose. Um, add temporary pavement markings for duty and even construction. Now that is a good idea, and I hadn't actually thought of that. So you can kind of put temporary ones on here, so you have an automatic timer, just like um, it automatically removes the cone placeables after a certain amount of time in public service. That'd be a good idea. To have, like, lives that are automatically placeable. You can only place so many at certain lengths like the police tape and in the public server i mean private server if you have the uh, game restrictions turned off you can do more and you can do them for longer uh definitely definitely we need water like this um it's true actually that would be quite nice if we had re uh, more realistic and nicer looking water but it's hardly game changing for some Republic part two so we're gonna skip that one for today okay i thought my monitor was dented when i saw, saw that i was like oh no uh, a blue ALS for FD and private servers. I mean, I don't think that'd be very hard for them to do. So yeah, that'd be pretty nice. And I suppose that could probably come as like a little small feature in some probably part two. And this will be our last suggestion of the video. Huge realism update. Make it that when you open the quick radio, a radio appears in your hands. Ooh. Make more radio chats, such as I'm in a pursuit, shot fired, criminal in cuffs, car pulled over. Uh, add realistic death. Currently, when you die, you just stand for like one second and then fall. Maybe add blood and realistic ragdolls. If you're shot in the head, it'll be thrown backwards. And if you're shot in the chest, you'll move backwards, etc. Now, one thing I have to add with that, Irosi is a 9 plus game, so they probably have to do unrealistic blood unless they're, if they're even allowed to add blood. Um, but I think the ragdoll is possible. Add helicopters. Make rescue helicopter for FD that can be unlocked by having the special operations game pass. PD helicopters for getting a group of people from one place to another fast. Revamp the AI spotlight helicopter so the spotlight will be bigger and brighter. I think if they added these, these would be AI, these would be automatic, and they probably wouldn't be uh, drivable by players. Revamp the tow truck. Make it so you have to connect the wires to the car instead of the car teleporting on the bed so make it so it slowly pulls up. I would like that. It's a small feature, but I think it would really add to the realism and roleplay. AI traffic. NPC traffic will make the game and role plays way more realistic. You could do that if there's something blocking the road, the way crash cars, etc. The NPC traffic will stop slash slow down, and also maybe there's a pursuit and the NPC cars will move aside for the cops. I think that probably would be possible for Roblox. Maybe some settings like flashing lights have where you can edit how much of them there are, because for lower end devices that could really, really lag it. Revamp the SWAT game bats. Make a hit system for the battering ram, so you need to hit the door a couple of times to get it open, and when it opens, the door gets swung open or breaks. So that's some more animations for like the uh, battering ram and also for the door, though, pretty cool. New tools for PD. Flashbangs that make you go blind for 5 seconds. Tear gas that makes your health slowly go down, and makes you not be able to see very clearly. Revamp the physics. Uh, if a car drives up, drives through the police tape, the tape will be torn. Ooh, that would be really good. Um, make your make it so if you crash into something, cars, walls, buildings, etc. Your car will have a mark like a scratch or a broken light. That is the best suggestion all day. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely should add some of those. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you did enjoy it, as it helps out a lot. Join my Discord server linked in the description down below. Check out the rest of the links. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.